In our last two sessions, we began a discussion with Cheryl, who had claimed to only ask her husband a question, when in reality she was protecting herself by criticizing what he had done. We established that it was certainly natural that she protected herself and that it was a behavior she had done all her life, but we also agreed that in all those times for her entire life, protecting herself had never, not once, produced a feeling of peace or love or happiness, which is what she really wants in her marriage. At the end of our conversation in the last session, she said, but I don't know what else to do but protect herself. And she's so right. Most of us have been so empty, so afraid, and then protected ourselves for so long that we can't even imagine what it would be like to do something else. Continuing our conversation here, I will reply to her. Right. You protect yourself only because it's all you know how to do. And you do it because it seems to work temporarily. When you protect yourself for a few moments, you don't feel quite as helpless and afraid. But you've never stopped to ask yourself what you're really protecting yourself from. What is that? What we want most in the world is to feel loved unconditionally. Without real love, we're empty and afraid all the time. And we'll do anything to protect ourselves from feeling even more unloved, empty, and afraid. What you're protecting yourself from is feeling unloved. That is why you attack people. When Howard does something thoughtless and unloving, you attack him so you won't feel helpless and unloved. But when you protect yourself from him, although you feel a little more powerful for a moment, you always feel separated from him and unloved and miserable. In other words, the moment you protect yourself, you cause the very feelings you are trying to avoid. So what am I supposed to do? It is the ultimate irony that the act of protecting ourselves does not make us feel safe, only alone. You won't feel real safety until you feel the power of feeling loved and being loving. And that won't happen until you stop protecting yourself. When you stop protecting and instead tell the truth about your mistakes, flaws, fears, and so on, you create opportunities for people to love you unconditionally. That's the only way to feel safe, loved, and powerful. That's hard for me to imagine. I understand. So let me show you how it can work right now. Let me suggest that you turn to Howard and say the words that I give you. The only reason I'm giving you the words is that this conversation will be so different from what you're used to that without help, you probably wouldn't be able to do it. Are you willing to try this? I suppose it couldn't be worse than what I've been doing. So say this to Howard. Howard, when you brought me the taxes, I was completely ungrateful. Ungrateful? But how can I be grateful when he doesn't even answer my questions? <laughs> how old are you? 35. So you've had 35 years to talk to people your way, right? Yes. And we've already established that your way doesn't work. The way you defend yourself has only made you and the people around you unhappy. Would you like to keep doing it your way, which has a 0% chance of success, or would you like to try something different? Okay, I get the point. And in our next session, we'll see if Cheryl really did get the point.